Much love, family. It's your boy Mills, and long time no speak, but you know, I'm about to get it right into this shit. Whatever you're going through, keep that bit rolling, bro. Keep that bit rolling. You feel me? If you got some depression that you gotta deal with, if you got some situations that is is fucking with your mental state and fucking with your peace, keep that bit rolling, bro. Don't stop. Don't give up hope because the moment you give up hope. The moment shit going shit going stay in a sad depressing state longer. The the, but the moment you be like, man, I'm not gonna let this shit get me down, nigga. I got this shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep that bit rolling. You gonna be straight. Cause a lot of times people always got this mentality of, oh my god, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? Nah, nah. You gotta ditch that mindset. You gotta have a mindset of, what can I learn from this? What's the lessons I can learn from this? Is life is about lessons and learning. Not all L's is losses, my baby, my baby, my baby boy, my baby girl, whoever. You feel me? So <clears throat> once you understand that, you're not going to let shit keep you down. You're still going to get angry. You're still going to feel how you feel, but you're not going to stay in that state. You're going to be like, man, I, okay, even if it's just an enemy that you deal with or somebody you ain't like. It's a lot of people I still look at of, <clears throat> damn, I don't really like you, but you taught me a lot of fucking lessons. Keep it a book. You feel me? I got exes that I've dealt with who, you feel me, that they've done things, I've done things, but I've learned things from them. It's about, life is about a lesson. Life is a learning experience. But everybody always got this victim mindset. Nigga, stop being a victim. Be a victor. You gotta be victorious, my nigga. On some Tory Vega shit. <laughs> no cap. You gotta be on that type of energy. So, ditch that, uh, why this happening to me mindset, be like, man, I'm about to keep that bit rolling, whatever happened, I'm about to keep that shit rolling, I'm not, you, it's like you playing football, you playing football, nigga, you got the ball in your hand, nigga, niggas trying to pull you down, but you keep that bit rolling, you don't stop for nobody, you trying to get that touchdown, and you gotta, that's how you gotta look at real life, you gotta want to get that touchdown, you gotta want to, you gotta want it, you gotta want that shit bad too, and not let any, anything get you off your vision, and that's just exactly how you manifest as well. Is if you see a vision, you see so if you could think it, you it can happen, bro. If you could think about it, it can happen. If you can think some shit, that means it's possible. So if you could think about some shit, that means you could you could make it happen. And that's how manifestation work. You see, your thoughts, your thoughts is waves, bro. And sub subatomic subatomic particles these subatomic particles could turn into reality and that's how your reality is created reality is what you think and what you see whatever you think whatever you have your attention on that's what it's going to be so if you have your attention on some negative shit you're going to feel and think and see the world in a negative aspect but if you see a, a, a positive aspect I man i got this a affirmation aspect you're going to see it in more positive aspect you're going to feel more positive about life so it's about lessons and then about keeping a positive mindset because the moment you start thinking positive the universe is not going to give you they're not going to give you what you want they're going to give you what you think or what you need you feel me so like you ever been in a dream and you think some shit and this shit happened? That's what reality is. <clears throat> so whatever you think is going to come into fruition. So that's why you not if you trying to manifest and you keep thinking about negative shit, it's not going to work because you keep thinking about negative shit. You got to visualize your your vision. You got to visualize that. That's why it's called a vision. Visualize. You got to see it in your mind, like you watching a movie. Your future, and then now the universe is going to put you position in position to get that. You feel me? And then you got to put yourself in position to get that as well. So <clears throat> that's how you manifest. You feel me? That's how you manifest. If you want to manifest abundance, peace, prosperity, that's how you do it. You got to look at everything as a lesson and not keep you down and keep a positive mindset and see your goal, whatever you, whatever it is. Think about, okay, what I want to do. What Do I want to be rich or do I want to be average? Do I want to be rich or want to be average? You feel me? So it's like, People, if you think low, if you have like, okay, I'm going to just go to college, you know, I'm going to get a job, and then I'm going to just, you follow up, rah, 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 then that's exactly what the fuck you're going to do. But if you be like, man, I'm going to be a billionaire, nigga, I'm already a billionaire, just not in this moment, then you're going to be a bit, you're thinking big, so your, 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 your vibratory state is going to match that level of what you're thinking. Whatever you think is going to be, bro, so think positive. And keep that bit ro rolling, you feel me? So stop having this negative, don't stop having negative thoughts, stop, you know, you feel me? <clears throat> letting negativity consume you. Stop letting it consume you. You feel me? Whatever you have your attention on, that's what your reality becomes.
you, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I love you, though. You feel me? I love everybody. I love, you know, all, especially my black people. If you're not black, I still love you. But I want everybody to have this mindset that to stop playing the victim. Stop seeing everything of, you know, um, why is this happening to me? Uh, da, da. Nah, bro. You got to throw that shit away. You got to pick up your big boy pants or your big girl pants, pull them shits up, and, man, I got this shit. It's about mental mental toughness. If you don't got mental toughness, you you, phys you physically not going to be tough. So if you don't have mental toughness, somebody punch you, it's going to hurt more. It's literally scientific fact. Your brain, if you depress, your, the, 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 the neurons in your brain shrink up so every little thing is more sensitive. That's why when you say something to a depressed person, the, it, it, it affects them more than somebody who more strong and more mentally strong than somebody who's at a low vibratory state as, as far as depression goes. So... Man, I don't want to make this shit too long, but like, I, like I said, man, y'all gotta keep that shit rolling, man. Don't whatever you going through, you got this shit, straight like that. And you gotta be on your, you gotta be on your, uh, your, you gotta be on your bike, and you gotta do what you gotta do to be successful, straight like that. No excuses. I don't want to hear nothing about no COVID. I don't want to hear about no nothing, bro. Y'all, whatever you want to do, you can do it, regardless. Fuck, fuck what anybody say. Fuck what society say you should or should. And nigga, do what you want. As long as you're not hurting nobody, do you. Do you, universe, like I said before, it's the universe, you, you, bro, but like, I love y'all, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all up too long, hope y'all have a wonderful day, and I'm out.